Hey, it's Junk Band from VintageRock.com and uh, the Rock Legends Cruise 2015. I am with three of Rock's biggest legends right here. I got, uh, starting with my right over here, I got Tom Johnson, I got John McPhee, and I got Patrick Simmons from the Doobie Brothers. And uh, gentlemen, welcome, uh, welcome aboard, I should say, right? Thank you, yeah, absolutely. Having a, having a really good time on the on the legends of or the rock legends tour. Yeah, I've been trying to watch as many people as I can, and uh, and we went out in Nassau today for a little bit, but it's been great. You guys knocked everybody dead the other night. Everybody's been it's been the talk of the cruise on how great the Doobie Brothers show was. As you know, you guys have been doing this for what 45, 46 years now, something like that. Um, knocking them dead forever. Um, Great record that you guys decided to go back um, and and explore some of some of the the country artists and other kind of artists doing Doobie Brothers songs. Talk us talk to us a little bit about the, about Southbound. Um, Southbound was an idea that was brought together or brought to us, I should say, um, as a concept to see if we'd be interested in doing it. And um, we met with the guy who ended up producing it, David Huff, and uh, he and Fred Crishell were pitching it, if you will. And basically, our biggest question, rather than we didn't, you know, the idea of just re-recording old songs didn't sound like such a great idea. But their idea of doing it uh, with all these really top country artists, really, really great players and singers, I said, well, yeah, that's cool. And the other thing that was good about it is we were going to be involved playing and singing as well. As, you know, so it wouldn't be some tribute thing. It'd be a collaboration thing. So we said, yeah. I said, and then we all asked, who you got? And they mentioned quite a few people. I said, really? <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome, man. They want to play our song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we said, yeah, let's do it. And we did. Cool. And it was a gas. Now, was there anybody in particular? Like, you know, you've obviously worked with a lot of country artists together. You've got a lot of country background to, uh, to your playing style, I, I noticed. And um, was there anybody in particular that you really wanted to be on this record that uh, you said, you know what, he would knock this song dead that actually did and came up and did anything like that? Or or is it just completely surprised by by the artist that decided to play each particular song? Do you understand what, I, what I'm yeah. saying there? Yeah, well, as it, as it turns out, I mean, a lot of people that I thought would be good doing our songs ended up climbing on board pretty early, like Jack Brown Band and, and you know, Chris Young, all these people that uh, ended up, and they did a great job. So. It, it's just, um, you know, it, it was one of those things where once we got started, it, everything seemed to kind of fall into place and, and uh, got some really good people in We really thought that guy, um, what's his Michael? name? Michael McDonald. <laughs> he would sound good <laughs> doing, uh, come, you know, take it to the streets, for instance. I yeah, well, that led me up to that. Michael he McDonald got involved in this. Yeah. For that, yeah. 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 <laughs> but I mean, w going back, was there anybody in particular, like when you came up with this original concept and you thought of like one of the country artists and they said, wow, he would sound great on this particular song, and they actually went and did it, or did they actually surprise you and say, this is what I want to do? That's, they were very helpful from that aspect. They chose the songs they wanted to do. I mean, Toby Keith wanted to do a certain song. Um, God, it's a here we go blank. Uh, <laughs> ah, Brown Brad Paisley wanted, wanted to do Black Zach Brown wanted to do Blackwater. Um, uh, Blake Shelton wanted to do Listen to Music. Um, just everybody had songs they wanted to do, which is really helpful because right. then you don't want to say, well, you know, what if, would you like to do this one? Or you know, <laughs> right. it's kind of Mickey Mouse. The only guy that that I actively went out and recruited was Charlie Washington to do okay. Nobody, uh, but. Um, it was great. Everybody worked out, and you know, to they sounded so good. I mean, let me like Chris Young, killed it. They all did. Sarah well, got Adams. great reviews, so can yeah, I? it, it so. was a lot of fun. And and making and you know, cutting the tracks with the guys there in Nashville, like all the A players in the studio. I mean, they're like <laughs> two takes, you're done. Nashville, Nashville pickers, man. You know, and they so. were incredible. Any thoughts about doing another one? Um, we're gonna do another album. I think in the but another Southbound thing. style, you know? I, no, it would probably be new stuff, but yeah. uh, that doesn't, you know, we'd love to play with these guys live. Yeah. We've only done that, well, we did it a couple of times. We did some with Chris Young. We did some with uh, Brad Paisley was up on stage with us. Um, Sarah Evans was up on stage. It was all one night, actually. And then we went and played with Chris one time. We also sat in with Zach Brown at um, in Boston at the baseball. Oh. Wow. Ah, wow, awesome. Now, speaking of playing live and sitting in with people, I noticed you, uh, Patrick, last night sitting in with Alice Cooper. That was, uh, looked like it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was fun. Yeah. It was, you know, just playing the blues at the yeah. end there, so that was great cool. And school's out, I think. Exactly. A <laughs> great big grin on your face while you're doing it, too, so did everybody in the audience, you know, so. Um, another th everybody was, who's that old dude up there with Alice? <laughs> 
guy can really play. Wow, he's really good. He must be related to them. <laughs> um, another thing is the Music Biz uh, Award that you guys were uh, are either getting or got yeah, this year. Yeah, Tell yeah, us yeah. about that particular. Yeah. <laughs> Tell it, that's got to be quite an honor for you. It is. I'll be honest with you. We weren't really familiar with it until it was brought to our attention. Um, they've had some pretty heavy hitters that have received the award. And we, you know, it's Such as? Cool. Well, Billy Joel. <laughs> Once again, you're talking. Yeah, got him on the I don't have them listed here, but uh, <laughs> Billy Joel's one that sticks out. But I, there's a bunch of other people that I can't think of at the moment. It was new to us. I didn't know about it, right. and um, it, we're honored. Yeah, I think it's it's a wonderful thing, man. It's always great when somebody wants to say, "Here, take this award. We think you're good enough to have it. You should have it. Here you go." <laughs> you figure, well, after 46 years, yeah, I guess we deserve an award <laughs> after all this. Huh? Just trying to see how much we can get on eBay. For <laughs> <right now. laughs> Um, tell us about the rest of 2015. What does it bring to you for 2015? Just strictly touring? You mentioned something about possibly doing another record again. Um, thoughts for 2015? What's the plans for the Doobie Brothers? We're going to be touring. Yeah, that's, it's, every day gigs keep coming in on the internet. Um, um, the album thing remains to be seen. We've, we've got to get together and, and work all the tunes out and what's going to be used and all that kind of stuff. But We're looking at doing a new project, so... New material, and uh, you asked about a, a southbound tour or something. Somebody yeah. else was asking about that. It's come up a few times, yeah. but I think you know if, if it were going to happen. I mean, I think we'd be happy to do it, but we don't know yet. You know. I think it needs to get out of the Teflon stage, raise yeah. a little higher. You know, <laughs> maybe if it got to gold or something, then that would probably help the situation from the record company's doing. point of view. I'll tell you something cool. We're doing. Uh, we're playing. Uh, is it the Lockin Fest? Mm -hmm. Uh, with the, the string cheese incident. Oh, man. So that should be really something crazy. We're Are you guys big fans of theirs? Uh, I love them. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not way into their music, but, you know, I, I've listened to it through the years, and, uh, you know, it's always innovative and interesting, and they do the, some great jamming, which is oh, kind of where, where we fit in. We're yeah. going to get up there and play some songs with them. I, yeah, the only we're not sure that we might have to actually rehearse. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that's this whole spirit of the jam band, man. You know, you don't rehearse. You just go up there and you guys let it rock, you know, and see what happens, you know? I expect it'll be more of a see what happens kind of thing. Yeah. And we could we jam. Uh, another question I wanted to ask you guys, too, is how did it feel about working with your old friend Michael McDonald again? We work with Michael on and off through the years anyway, so we see him every now and again. Uh -huh. it's, it's always fun. We always have a really good time. And it just fits right into, like, well, yeah. he hey, used right. to be in a band, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> but, I mean, he just picks up right where he left off, or is pretty it? Much, yeah. yeah, that's probably what it feels like. And honestly, if anything, I think he's singing better than ever, and he's just, he was awesome on the project. He's a road dog, too. He's out there all the time, you know? He, he, doesn't, know, he doesn't know any better either, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think. He's been on a couple other albums that we've recorded, done some, you know, kind of cameo appearances and stuff and we always we stay in touch you know so how do you feel about being on the boat man you having a good time with this i mean it was seriously rocking when you guys were up there you know you guys were rocking out on the stage but the stage was actually yeah, rocking yeah, when you guys were playing the other night that was, yeah we've done that once before and actually it was rocking harder that time that really? was yeah we just pulled out we were going the opposite direction of the hurricane, hurricane but uh the leftovers were still going on and it was really nuts the other night was a reminder of that but it wasn't quite as strong but, uh, gentlemen really appreciate you guys talking to us here at uh, vintagerock.com and congratulations for you know everything that you guys have done it's just you know still knocking them dead every show and it just uh we, we were loving it the other night and looking forward again tonight so we appreciate yeah. that so again oh yeah uh, again, the Doobie Brothers, um, coming to a city near you. This is Junkman from VintageRock.com, and I thank you again, gentlemen. Have a good time on the boat. Rock on. You too.